Hello and welcome back to DRI TV. I'm Benno Schmidt, joining you from the Diabetes Research Institute here at the University of Miami with some exciting news. Scientists here continue making progress on the DRI Biohub, a bioengineered mini organ that mimics the native pancreas. Today, they're about to launch a pilot trial that tests a possible location for the new DRI Biohub. In this episode of DRI TV, we're taking a closer look at that new implant site and what the clinical trial will involve. This is a very important first step in the overall development of the Biohub because uh, this will set uh, the site of implantation and the platform technology to add all the other components for ultimate tolerance induction and for a biologic cure. For the past 40 years, researchers have been transplanting islet cells into the liver to restore natural insulin production in patients with type 1 diabetes. Most patients who have received islet transplants have become insulin independent, but over time, many cells are lost and patients must resume insulin therapy. One reason this happens is because the liver is not an ideal transplant site for islet cells. So DRI scientists are all set to test a new implant site called the Omentum. It's an apron-like lining inside the abdomen. Researchers believe that the Omentum may be an optimal site for housing a DRI biohub. The Omentum has many of the characteristics that we want. It, high, it is highly vascularized. It drains through the portal vein, which is the natural place where insulin has to go. And they are not placed in the blood. So there should be much less inflammation when we place the islets. Now, in an exciting step forward, the DRI has FDA approval for a pilot clinical trial that will test the Omentum as a possible transplant site in a small group of patients with type 1 diabetes to see if it's a better home for the islet cells than the liver. Researchers will transplant islet cells into a biodegradable scaffold, one of the platforms being developed for a biohub. The biodegradable scaffold is made using a patient's plasma, the liquid part of the blood. They combine the islets with the plasma and apply the mixture onto the Omentum and then add a commonly used clinical grade enzyme called thrombin. The mixture creates a gel-like substance that sticks to the omentum and holds the islets in place. So if you, we use elements that are already circulating in the recipient's body, there are less chances of complications. Researchers will then fold part of the omentum to create a protective pouch around the biodegradable scaffold mixture. Over time, the body will absorb the gel leaving the islets intact while new blood vessels are formed to support their survival and function. We expose the omentum, put the scaffold and the islets on top, and then wrapped the scaffold. And we have observed long-term survival of the islets and function in this site. Patients involved in this pilot trial will be given the immunosuppressive drugs currently used for other clinical islet transplantation studies. The DRI also plans to test other Biohub platforms, including a silicone scaffold. Researchers are in late-stage discussions with the FDA and awaiting approval for that pilot clinical trial, which will also be implanted in the Omentum when finalized. The reason that we are doing both approaches is because the permanent scaffold also has some advantages that are related to the mechanical protection of the insulin-producing cells, is a more confined space. The DRI is now screening patients for this pilot trial and for future trials. You can learn more and download the screening application by visiting diabetesresearch.org forward slash pilot trial. What's next for the DRI Biohub? For that, register for free as a DRI insider. Stay connected to the DRI website and join me, Benno Schmidt, for new episodes of DRI TV. The DRI will get us to a cure with your support.